Yeah. Even before we kick off the voice of customer research, I have a kickoff meeting with the team and I ask them very important questions, which is, okay, what, what are you building? Who is it for? Um, what are you solving? What problem are you solving? What pain are you solving for them? What are your benefits? What are you, the features? I ask them all of these critical questions and, the, and only after that, right, I have some kind of knowledge from the team. Then I schedule those voice of customer research conversations with top customers, super fans that love them. Um, all of their, you know, I try to, to have conversations with all of their customers and then um, prospect, warm prospects, and maybe even lapsed buyers, people where it wasn't the right fit. Although with early stage startups, you don't really have a lot of laps, hopefully, um, because founders typically they're figuring out positioning, messaging, like target buyer, all that stuff. And so I come in, have these conversations. And what I'm looking for when I have these conversations is, does the pain that you talk about match up to the pain that they're having? Do they talk about you in that same way when I, when we, when I ask them, like, what is this product? Um, what does it solve for you? What are the top, what's the top value you're getting? How, has, how is it changing your life? So such rich insights I'm getting from these conversations. And then I pull the insights and it's like a common thread across all of the different folks I speak to. That common thread then helps me um, put that into like positioning, messaging, everything that we're going to then use in not just website uh, copy, but also maybe their sales pitch deck, maybe their, you know, other marketing collateral, sales collateral, where else they live online. So that's really important foundational work for um, the positioning and messaging. 